Hello. Right, say hello. 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 Right. <laughs> this kid. <laughs> okay. Right. So I came across this thing called the fader. So when you add a preset to your Lightroom, sometimes it goes crazy, like the contrast goes mad, overexposes or underexposes, and sometimes you just think this is just like a shit preset. So this thing called the fader, once you add it on, you can literally adjust it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So guys, what you have to do is you have to go to capture, capture monkey dot com forward slash the fader and then when it loads what you have to do is so this works like an Instagram filter so once you add your your preset to it you can adjust how much you want it to affect your image so with some <coughs> presets a lot of people give you you might add it to your Lightroom click the preset and it's too much we well, release with this literally you can adjust it so I found out about this about a week ago and it's an absolute amazing plugin to use with Lightroom. It shows you here that how exactly how it works. So you go down, you click download the fader, download it, open it. Press download open the fader and what you do is go to Lightroom I'm not actually going to add it in because I've already got it plugged into mine but I'll show you how to do it so once you obviously got Lightroom open you need to go to file plugin manager and like, as you can see here so you just click add it will load you just click the fader click the fader Click add plugin. That is it. So here's a picture of me jumping across the road. So what I do is I go to file, plugin extras, the fader. Go to user presets. Go to list of presets. Go to Lightroom tutorial, which is a creative writing preset. Add it. You can either go down percentage or up. And as you can see, it just just like an Instagram filter, how much uh, like saturation, exposure, contrast does it automatically. So if you look on my left, so if you look to my right hand side, you will see that all the adjustments move by themselves. So look, go up high, then go high. Go low, they will just low. So if you're using someone else's presets or your own, and it works for a different image, but you add it to another image because you want the same look, but obviously it works too strongly or not enough. You can adjust it to exactly how much you want it. So I hope this tutorial helps you guys and need some feedback, let me know. Say bye. Bye. bye.